This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Ruhr Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Okay, more iX stuff. Um, this time I have to record with my phone because uh, um, the main camera is being uh, charged up right now in my room. But anyway, this is um, an interesting feature with the iX. I believe it's only available for iX right now. So what it's going to do is that the driver has pre-recorded a route or um, it's for parking, for example. Uh, if you have a driveway or, or garage, um, you pre-record the, the route that you're supposed to do, and then you can play it back. So, so right now the driver is, well, I don't know if you can see it, but the driver is not steering. The car is doing all this by itself. But this is not like, um, you know, I just demonstrated this with, uh, with X-Bang and with uh, Tesla. Uh, there you, you choose where you want to go, and then the car will just do it. But this one is more complex. So it's, um, how do I explain it? It's not, um, it's not summon. It's not advanced summon. It's not auto park like x -Bang. It's, it's like a pre learn route you you do the route and then the car will remember it and then it will um, replicate it so I watched already several of these in and out here and what I notice is that it could seem like it doesn't do the same thing every time so it will um, it seems like it saves the path something like that and then it tries to replicate the path and then the car will choose what it needs to do to get there because one way would also be to record the, the steering input and uh, the throttle and distance and then replicate it exactly but that might not always be the case or you might not end up from there to the 69 slot every time so what I noticed yeah, is that it might do different turn, different stop uh, points every time. So I'm going to try now to get inside the car and see what happens, experience it from inside. So let's see, I go inside. Hi. Hello. So so. Stay in the car because then it goes faster, you're just starting the system. And so okay. On. Okay. So now the car sees uh, here where the car is positioned now. Uh, we have a recorded part, so the part oh, is there. found already. Oh, you also named it. Yes, you can name it free. So this is 60 to 69, this is uh, the number of the parking spaces here. And the only thing I have to do is push on the button, release the brake. Oh, I see. And it has. Relax. And you see here the path. I noticed it, it actually. Oh, you recorded that. It, it goes forward and then back. Yes. So it will try to replicate that. But it doesn't follow it strictly. Uh, yes, it does. It does. It okay. follows it strictly. Only if, if there is an obstacle in the way, then it will stop and then you can remove the obstacle if it's a dustbin or something like it, or if it's a, it's, it's a person that moves away and then uh, the maneuver can continue. But the car will also. Um, it will also take some actions and like it, it also has to maneuver based on the surroundings right and the, in, the, the sensor inputs uh, yes uh, the sensors they look if the, if the way is free and if it's not free then the car stops but it, uh, it doesn't plan another route then but there is there still room for some slack let's say if we technically could move the spot a little 10 centimeters mm -hmm. away will it still find it yes for finding the way you have a uh, 1.5 meters where you have to position your car to the track and then un until you you have positioned your car uh, maximum 1.5 meters from the stored track then you get uh, an offer and if you then uh, say, okay, find the path, then the car goes exactly on the path and finishes the maneuver. Does it read uh, the, the numbers here at all on the floor? No. Okay. No, no, no. Uh -huh. it's, it's only oriented on walls and uh, oh. lines on the floor. and. So it's uh, based on vectors and distance yes. and all mm -hmm. that. Yes. Huh. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome.
So I say in the car that so that it goes faster for oh. the next one. Yeah? Okay, okay. Is there anybody left? Okay, I'm just gonna show you one more time what happens. So he just has to activate it inside the screen. So you see that, like, like the, he mentioned that it, it will strictly try to to find that path or follow that path, and it's been programmed to stop here. That's why we don't go further. But then you see that you can say, well, why is it taking so many turns? Well, it was programmed. <laughs> we we taught it to do it like this. So of course, if we if the lesson we had or if the how to put this in, if the instruction we had initially was different then it will also do it differently so this is actually an interesting approach rather than letting the car fully decide what to do like with the x-bang or with tesla's uh, self parking you can see now it seems like it reverses the well, I wonder if that's two different programs. I forgot to check. I think maybe there must doesn't be two different programs. One to go from uh, you yeah, one to go from 60 to 69, and then another one to go from 69 to 60. That could be the case. I'm not sure why they are stopping now. But I also wonder if they can do this while not inside the car. Hmm. That would huh, that would actually be more useful if you just you can leave the car and then you just tell it to go park itself. Because this thing here, it's a nice proof concept, but how useful is it really? Right? Because most people should be able to park. Yeah, you see now it decides to do that before it goes fully in. But I also saw that the, the parking at the 69 spot was not entirely straight. And then it stops kind of deep there. Uh, I forgot to mention, when, when the car was parked here, it wasn't entirely straight. So that's, you know, BMW parking, but it means that the guy who recorded it initially didn't park straight. So then the, so then the BMW also didn't park straight. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, this is it. That I don't know what they call it. Uh, maneuver assistant. Yeah, maneuver assistant. See, this is the other one here. They call it maneuver assistant test vehicle. Oh yeah.